Hello guys. So I received so many comments on my channel where people say they are having problem with the URL m is equal to one on the blogger website. You can see here this subscriber says they are having problem with like m is equal to one with more than thousand pages. And here another comment will say brother how to fix redact Aaron blogger. I am facing this Aaron homepage m is equal to one. The same problem here. This time this alternative page with proper canonical tag error for blogger and then. He is also saying many m is equal to one error. Okay, if I go to Google Search Console, you can see the error page with redirect. And here, an example, you can see the home page m equal to one, and then a post m equal to one, and then for a search also search slash label slash computer question mark m is equal to one. This is the common issue with blogger website. Most of you are facing this issue if you go to your Search Console report. Same thing if I go. Here, alternate page with proper canonical tag error in blogger. Then you will see we have again some pages which are showing this error m is equal to one. And here you can see how to connect via FTP. There is a post again m is equal to one. Here is the same thing. Okay, this is really really common error, guys. I'm sure a lot of you are facing this problem, and you find a lot of solution on internet. So first, let me show you what is this problem exactly, so you can understand why you are seeing this issue on your blogger website. When you see alternate page with proper canonical tag, or you can see page with redirect. Not just this, in any of the other errors you see on Search Console account, and when you go inside, you will see some pages you are like m is equal to one. So first, let me show you why you are seeing this error, and then we'll talk about is it possible to solve it. If it is possible, then how? And one more thing, I see so many videos on this topic. People say you can implement some code to solve this issue. We'll talk about it also. Because sometimes adding some code might hurt your website SEO ranking. Okay, so you can see I open the Chrome browser here. This is the URL of my Blogspot website, techsavvyinside.blogspot.com. If I refresh the page, it is the same URL. But what happened when I open this page in Mobile View? So to check your website in Mobile View, what you need to do is right-click here and then click on Inspect. Then you need to select from your mobile. I'll just drop this down a little bit so you can see everything. You can see the URL still here, techsavvyinside.blogspot.com. But here the design is changed. It is mobile friendly design, which is responsive design. But what happened if I refresh this page now? You can see this m is equal to one is added in the end of this page URL. Not just this one. If I go to any blog post here, you can see m is equal to one is added here. What is happening here? Blogger is showing this mobile version of this page. If you go to home page, blogger is showing mobile version of your home page. Any post or anywhere you can go. For example, if you go here, top tech gadgets, you can see always question mark m is equal to one, and this is for mobile devices. Okay, now let's talk about some solutions which I saw on YouTube. People say that you should add this code, and then m is equal to one will be gone from your blogger website. So this was the code. This is a JavaScript code. I will show you how to add this code. You need to go to your blogger website and then go to themes, and then. From this drop down, click on Edit HTML, and then end of the file. You can just drag it from here and go to the end. What we were saying, you need to add this code here just before the body tag. You can see here, you add this code just before the body tag, and then what you need to do is click on Save. Okay, so now we save this, and then we go back to our mobile version. You can see here, it's still m is equal to one. Now, when I refresh this page. You can see m is equal to one is gone. Looks like it is working fine, but wait, guys, no, don't do it. What is happening here? This is a JavaScript code. This is not a server-side code. When the page here is m is equal to one, and somebody try to reload the page, so first it comes to m is equal to one, and by the JavaScript code, this code we added in the blogger, what it is doing? It is changing just the URL. The URL is still there. It will always be there. Just to prove you the point, what can happen? I'll show you this thing. You can also try by yourself. So you can go here elements, and then if you go to network, and if you just little bit move this up and go to the top, you can see m is equal to one is still there. If I refresh the page, you could see page is coming to m is equal to one first, and then the URL is changed by JavaScript, and m is equal to one is removed from the URL. So what is happening? It is just changing the URL on the user's computer. It is not changing on server side. So all this error will not be gone from your Search Console account. So before we move forward, I highly recommend you to like the video and subscribe to the channel because these videos take a lot of time to research, script, edit, film, and then upload to YouTube. 
Sometimes a 10 minute video can take up to 20 hours. So if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. I will understand you guys are appreciating my efforts and that would make me really happy. And subscribing is totally free and it's a good way to show your support and it's good for YouTube algorithm also. So more people can get benefit from this kind of videos. Okay, let's go back to the video. No matter you have error with alternate page with proper can you tag or your page with redirect tag where you see these pages. So if you try this kind of code solution, then you might see the M is equal to one is gone, but still it will always be there in the back end or you can see on server side. And what can happen guys, when you implement this kind of JavaScript code, it can be more problematic for your website SEO. You can have more issues with website SEO, your ranking can go down because what you're doing, you're manipulating the URL. You're not fixing any issue. I would never recommend you to implement this kind of JavaScript code to remove the M is equal to one from your blogger website. Okay, so now you understand you do not need to implement this kind of code. So what you need to do is, guys, you do not need to do anything because M is equal to one is the functionality from blogger to understand that this is a mobile version of this page. It is not a problem at all because everything what you see in Google search console is not an error. These things are there, the reports. They are there to make you understand what is happening with your website. So for example, if I'm here with page view redirect, so this is just saying that the home page is redacted to this page when it's open on mobile devices. This post, somebody open on mobile device, the post URL is this one until HTML, but it is redacting to M is equal to one, which is the mobile version of this post. And with blogger, it is real nice because the blogger themes we have, they have this mobile responsive template. You can see, if I click here, the mobile menu comes up. Here, it's a default menu. So it is not a issue guys, do not try to fix it, M is equal to one is totally fine, you can see thousands of these kind of examples here. They do not say it is error, it say examples. And it is a report, guys, it is not an error, so don't worry about it. Anybody who is saying you to add this kind of code to remove the URL, which is just yes, doing the patchwork. Here you can see it is doing the patchwork, M is equal to one is gone, but it is not at all fixing the issue. It can even more do the damage to your website SEO. So guys, I request you do not use this kind of stupid solutions on your website. And if you are seeing this URLs, M is equal to one, they're totally fine. They're just reports from Google for you to understand how your website is working. Whether it can be page with diet issue in Google or it can be alternate page with proper canonical tag reports in Google Search Console on your blogger website. So if you're seeing anything on blogger website is kind of error, do not worry about it. Just forget about it. They're totally fine. And if you really want to take your website SEO to the next level, Check out this small playlist where I explain how we can solve common search console errors.